The 2022 Major League Baseball draft is set to take place tonight at 7 on MLB Network. Kentucky has several prospects. Gold Glove winner Ryan Ritter headlining the Cats' potential draftees. Eastern Kentucky has a couple of their own, including reliever Will Bryan. Bryan heads into the draft after a career year on the mound, but an incident back in November nearly ended his playing days, let alone his life. Will Bryan is the definition of a warrior. It seems like he's always coming back from something, like a season-ending elbow injury his freshman year. Basically, I had a muscle suffocating a nerve, and they had to just basically go in and move it. But on November 19th, 2021, he faced his toughest battle yet. We actually got our new gloves coming in that day. Him and I were looking at our gloves and just kind of joking, and he started spinning in circles while he was walking. And I didn't know if he was fooling around or not until I saw him go pretty much head first into one of the lockers. He was getting ready to fall down and hit his head, and I had to run up to him and catch him. Mysteriously, Will had suffered a seizure, the first one in his family he can recall. And of course, you know, I went in the locker room as fast as I could get in there. His body was in the shape of a U. You know, he was he was kind of locked up season and, you know, arms and legs kind of folded. And it was interesting. I was in the ambulance. The only thing I kept telling him was I need to talk to my wife. I need my wife. I didn't know my wife's name, um, but I knew I had a wife, which is good. A lot of that day was kind of in and out for me. The scariest part is the doctors at the hospital don't know what caused the seizure to happen in the first place. They basically just said it could have came from dehydration, stress. It's kind of a freak accident. So that's kind of what they're calling this. It took about two weeks for Will to regain his memory. He began to train slowly, but was restricted from driving, showering alone, and cooking for six months. Three more, Will. But once he returned to the mound fully healthy, something amazing happened. I don't want to walk anybody. And he does not. My very first bullpen back from the seizure was I was sitting like 92, 94. We were all kind of in shock, like, wow, like, you know, that that's new. This past spring, Will Bryan had a career season, becoming one of the top relief pitchers in college baseball, tying for third nationally in saves, breaking a school record for saves in a season and being named an All-American. He was. You know, from a velocity standpoint, was better than he'd ever been. And so, I, of course, I joked with him. I said, maybe, you know, maybe the seizure unlocks some kind of superpower within you uh, for you to be the best version of yourself. It's honestly, it's a testament to who he is as a person. He didn't let any of the injuries that he had affect him. So more than rewarding, and he's more than deserving. Now, Will has the chance to continue his career in the major leagues, manifesting a dream he's had since he was young. It's big. Throughout college, the first few years, I really didn't think this was going to be something that would happen. Things started to work out in my favor. I'm just glad I'm okay. And so are we. Brian is projected to be a day two pick going anywhere from rounds five through ten. Now, while he was recovering from his seizure, Coach Prothro told me that Will remained on track to graduate, maintaining a 3.8 GPA and above. That just shows you how tough and confident and how focused he is. Best of luck to him.